when you have two knights against the opponent king, it is just a draw. Unless your opponent king cooperates and goes to the corner by himself, you cannot win this game. So when this position appears, it becomes a draw by insufficient material. We know that, right? But what if there was an opponent pawn anywhere on the board? It doesn't have to be exactly here. It can be anywhere on the board. Then is it the same? It's one of the paradoxes in chess. This position is a win for white. When you just have two knights, it's a draw. But if your opponent has an extra pawn, then white wins. So what is the difference? How do we win this? The winning idea is we just block the pawn with one of our knights. And with the other knight and the king, we corner the black king into the corner. If this pawn was not there, stalemate would happen. But because the pawn is there, we will be able to checkmate him. So let us see how that is done. First, we play knight to b6. Blocking the pawn, he moves king f7, let's say. We bring our king in. He plays king e7, knight check. King goes to f7, king f5, king g7, and knight e5. So we're slowly taking away his squares. King h6, king g4, not letting him escape. King moves, king moves. King h7, knight g4. King g7, knight h6. King f8, and now we've got him almost at the end. King e8, knight f7, not letting him go to d8. King f8, knight d6, forcing him to the corner. And now it is time to bring the other knight. We can even play king g6 here and just wait. And at the last moment, bring the other knight in. But why not do it now? Knight d7. Let's say he plays king h7. Knight f5. b5. And now king f7. b4. Knight f6. It's time to give the mate. King h8. Knight e7. b3. And knight g6. So this is the winning technique with two knights against a pawn. Now, you might think this is such a rare end game that never happens in an actual game. You would not believe this has happened in top games. The most notable of them are a game between Karpov and Topolov in 2000. So this was a position after 61 moves in this game between Topolov and Karpov in the year 2000. Topolov has the two knights. If this pawn is not there, it's a draw, but this pawn is there. So Karpov plays king c3, king c5 by Topolov, king d3, and knight e2. King moves to the back, king comes in, king moves, knight check, king moves, king moves, and the knight moves away just to come to the right square. Now Topolov makes it look so easy. King a2, knight c4. King moves and king c3. King c1, knight b2. Not letting him go to the other side. And knight d3. This was a technique we just saw. King moves, king b3. King moves, and now the other knight comes in. Here, Karpov resigned. If the game went on, this is what could have happened. Let's say king a1, knight c3. He has to push the pawn, yeah? I mean, he has to push the pawn. And now knight e1. Trying to get to the square, push, and check it. So that is why Karpov resigned right after 92. Now, it happened very recently in a game in the Isle of Man tournament as well between Karyakin and Samuel Sevian. So let me show you the technique there. So Karyakin had a longer uh, game here because the king is in one side, the two knights are on the other side, so they have to coordinate. So let's see how he did it. He brought the knight in, king c5, knight moves back, g4, knight g3. He blocks the pawn. Now... It's time to corner this king with your king and the knight. King comes in. Knight check. King moves. King moves. King moves. Knight comes in. So slowly we are taking away squares. And the king comes closer. And we're getting there. Yeah. Karya can force the king back. And now he's going in. Check. King comes in and he is in the corner. Tilts and work as we learn. King moves in. King f6, king h7, and now the other knight escapes. King g8, king e7, push. Knight f6 check. King moves, king f8. And here he resigned because it's going to be mate. Knight h4, knight, knight uh, g6 is mate. Like push, knight h4. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ah, push. Knight d6. Knight h4 allows promotion. So knight d6 and now queens and knight f7. 
checkmate. So this happened in 2018. So this is an end game that you should be familiar with because it can happen in your games. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like such content.